cathedral before this. You know, uh, in 1665, we had the bubonic plague that swept through London. Then in 1666, our weather normally comes from the west. You send it to us. <laughs> and it's normally rain. On this occasion, and remember, all the houses were plaster and wood, very small, very built both together. Down that away, in a street called Pudding Lane, where they made cakes and puddings and all this stuff. A maid left a candle burning, and during the night, it fell over and it set fire to the house. And on this occasion, the wind was blowing from the east, so all this area was totally gutted with the fire. They couldn't put it out. It went on for seven days. And the old cathedral, which we call Old St. Paul's, the lead melted on the roof, the roof fell in, the whole building collapsed, and this was built in its place. And it was much longer <laughs> than this one, and it had a chapter house. This is where they conducted the business of the cathedral. This is an old print of the, of the chapter house, and we've located it there. You see the little spokes sticking up, which is quite good. And then they've done something else as well. Follow me. It's just so awesome. They've done something else. Follow me. It's like, oh my god. This is on video. This is going on the FB. What up? A little chile. Hi. So take me, please. We're getting better and better. We're so open to see. So what they've done, they've highlighted the old cathedral in black. Okay. With the chapter house, which is over there, and the grey underneath it is the present cathedral. So you can see it was much shorter. And it was Gothic, the old cathedral. And this was built as a Protestant cathedral. All the other churches you see started out life Roman Catholic. And when we broke with Rome in the 1550s, they converted to uh, Protestant churches. But this was built as a Protestant church. And it's Portland stone, which they had to get from the south coast, on barges, round the coastline, up the River Thames, and they disembarked here. And to get money, because what normally happened with the building of big cathedrals, they ran out of money. They decided, the city fathers, to put a tax on all the coal that was burnt. And with that tax, they managed to build this in 35 years, which is incredible. Now, when we came to clean it, because the soot of centuries had eaten in to the limestone, it's limestone, basically, and you know, it's very difficult to clean. You can't use chemicals. It will destroy all the carvings. Uh, you can't sandblast it. So you continually play water with sort of large toothbrushes, which you clean. It takes time and it takes money. But the end result is absolutely terrific because you can see all the fruit and all the and nuts. And then you can see the coat of arms of the Bishop of London with his mitre above. And the Bishop of London is a very important appointment. Often they end up as Archbishop of Canterbury. Not this one. So you have the West Front with the Corinthian columns. And the central doorway is only used for a royal wedding or a state funeral, like the Winston Churchill had in the yes. And Diana, you remember Diana? She had a wedding here, you know, when she got out of the carriage. When she was in the church, the train was still coming out of the carriage. So, yeah, us ordinary people go in either side of the doors like that. And the lady is not Queen Victoria. Most of the ladies stand to guard. This is Queen Anne. And she was 
the last of the Stuarts. And she's there because it was during her reign this was consecrated. She died in 1714 and this was consecrated in 1710. And she's rather sad, you know, uh, she married a Danish fellow. That's not the sad bit. <laughs> uh, but she had 17 children and none of them grew up to adulthood. And she had dropsy and arthritis and she drank a lot to ease the pain. And we've got a little rhyme about her. Poor old Anne, left in the lurch, facing the gin shop, back to the church. But that, that's why she's there. And all this area has been redone uh, to make it neoclassical. And it was proud of idea, because the building used to be like that concrete and glass. And he said, if you're going to clean the cathedral, you've got to be harmonious here. So he's quite good, even though he's got big ears. <laughs> and I want to show you this.